Hello, good morning everyone. This is an impromptu video. I just got home. It's Friday morning. I just got home from an 11 hour shift. 12 actually. I worked the whole 12 hours. Um, and I open up my phone to close all the files so it doesn't, uh, so it doesn't drain the battery. And this is what I find. Lyft is giving free transportation to job hunters and new hires who need it most. It's easy to get cynical about corporate social impact programs, but sometimes they just make sense. How about making some sense out of paying drivers better? And then it goes on to say, take the latest do-good efforts by Lyft. Well, what good do-gooding efforts is that? They're not paying drivers. And then it goes on. The company notes that the ability of poor people to find or hold down new job can depend greatly on their access to reliable transportation. That drivers are providing for practically free. And again... And here, Lyft has something concrete to contribute, not to their drivers. The ride-hailing company says it's working with service organizations such as Goodwill and United Way. Hey, us drivers need some Goodwill from Lyft. In roughly 35 markets in the U.S. and Canada to provide free on my back and yours or discounted on my back or yours, lift rides to and from job training and programs, job interviews, and the first three weeks of employment or until individuals <clears throat> receive their first paycheck. Isn't that nice? The company will focus on a range of communities that stand to benefit the most, including veterans and disabled people. Well, how about your community of drivers? What do we stand to benefit from? Uh, again, Lyft sees the opportunity to make a difference. A 2015 study at Harvard found that commute length is one of the strongest factors in moving Americans out of poverty, with shorter commute times equating to more economic mobility. According to the company's research, 44% of Lyft rides start and end in low-income areas. Since its IPO earlier this year, Lyft appears to be doubling down on social impact strategies. Uh, this latest pledge is part of a broader commitment to uh, cater to the left. Uh, providing more access to transportation, whether that's providing the recently homeless and newly employed with subsidized rides, again, on drivers' backs, to their jobs are working with public agencies in Detroit and Washington, D.C. to provide affordable rides for late-night workers. In May, the company said it will commit $50 million. Now we know where our pay is going. A year to help improve cities via transportation and sustainability programs. Despite efforts to brand itself as a mission-driven company, Lyft's reputation has been increasingly under fire, and it's going to continue to be under fire by drivers. Uh, critics say the company has fallen short in responding to allegations of sexual harassment by drivers, which is bullshit, because if these people didn't call the cops, then no crime was committed. Um, and been accused of discriminating against people with disabilities. Well, I think that's probably the drivers that are discriminating against people with disabilities, not the company. Um, by not providing wheelchair accessible vehicles in the Bay Area. Meanwhile, new legislation in California will likely force many gig economy companies there to reclassify independent contractors as employees. The bill known as AB5 was largely seen as targeting Lyft and its ride-hailing rival, Uber. That might help explain why Lyft is doubling down on community mining initiatives and efforts at winning public support. 
Why don't you pay your drivers if you want public support? Um, it also may point to how the ride hailing company is hoping to align with an ever more purpose driven workforce. A purpose driven workforce. They're giving free rides out to people, probably a lot of them on welfare, that will be going through the motions to do job search so that they can get their food stamps. Wow, this is really great. And maybe some people should start making noise and protesting about this. Lyft cannot afford to pay their drivers properly, but they can afford to give out free rides on our backs. Fuck Lyft.